but if you happen to notice that I am missing from Instagram, that is because my account was deleted. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today with just a quick update. Um, you can probably tell what it is by the title of this video, but I have two things that I wanted to talk about and we'll start with the good one first and that is just a thank you to everybody who gave your suggestions on my last video where I said, you know, I'm having all this trouble with my ostomy bag and I've tried just about everything I can think of <laughs> and I got so many comments on there about different suggestions, different products to try, different um, ostomy brands that I should try, and then I got a lot of people that live in the UK offering to either have the salts bags shipped to them and then shipped to me, or people that just no longer use it offering to ship them to me. And I am so grateful, I feel a little funny about it because I know that not everybody has the ability to, you know, gather all of the brains of ostomates and, and kind of come up with solutions, so I'm very grateful for that. I will say, um, what, <laughs> who knows if this is going to work long term because I've had things work temporarily and then totally, you know, 180, go in the other direction and not work at all in a week, um, but what I will say is that I, my routine right now is to take a little bit of, oh gosh, what is it, my conazole, I think it's my conazole cream, and a little bit of hydrocortisone cream, very small amount, um, mix it together, who knows what chemical reaction that's causing, I hope it's none, but I am rubbing it on the red areas and then letting it really soak in really, really good. Then I am taking um, calamine lotion, very thin layer of that with a cotton ball, and just wiping it over the skin, over top of those two creams. And then, because I know that Coloplast will not stick to that whatsoever, it, it just, it hates anything on the skin. And I know a ton of people suggested, have you tried this skin prep? Have you tried that one? I have tried... I don't know how many types, um, Trio, Cavalon, Hollister's, uh, Coloplast, all the brands. <laughs> I order samples from everywhere, um, and I've also purchased ones on Amazon, and I've tried just about every single one out there, but what I found instead of using a skin prep is to take some adhesive, and I have this like jar of adhesive that my friend Noelle sent me from New Hope and I do a very thin layer directly onto the flange itself, which increases the adhesiveness of it, and stick it on top, and it seems to be working. I'm getting about two days of wear time, but you will see, I showed you this exact thing. Can you see? It looks kind of red in the camera, but it is not nearly as bad, and the bag is sticking to me, more importantly, before it was lifting up. So. Um, that is what I am doing, and at least it's it's relieved the pain. I will I will tell you that. So thank you so much for all of your suggestions. I am thinking that I should collect a lot of your suggestions and put it into a video, so somebody who might be in a similar situation has, you know, a bunch of different ideas to try because it's not always cut and dry. You know, put stoma powder on it and do the crusting technique. Again, another thing I tried that I can get it to heal. I just can't get anything to stick to it. So thank you so much for, for all those suggestions. Now on to the title of this video. Um, not that I think anybody is looking up my Instagram or anything, but if you happen to notice that I am missing from Instagram, that is because my account was deleted. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea why. 
Um, I make sure to follow all community standards and whatnot. And I don't work with a ton of brands on Instagram, but if I do, I follow the FTC rules. There's a thing on the back end of creator and business accounts that allows you to tag brands. Um, so that way it clearly states that you've worked with somebody and it's sponsored and it's an ad or whatever. Um, I don't think I've done that in a long time anyway, but years ago and <laughs> months ago, I have used that, so I am good there. But I tried to sign on to my account the other day, and it said, your account's been disabled. Submit a review here, and I tried to submit a review. I don't know if it went through or not. It was not clear at all. And then it signed me out, and um, I go to try and sign in. It doesn't recognize my username. I am wiped from Instagram. So if you search Let's Talk IBD on there, you won't find me. <laughs> um, I have now submitted an appeal multiple times. I got suspicious emails, which I will tell you a little bit about because I don't know what to think about them. But um, I, I will say that I don't know if I'm going to get my Instagram back and I don't know if I'm going to make a new account if I can't get this one back because that was a heck of a lot of work for Instagram to just take away with no explanation and I'm well, a little bit ticked off. <laughs> kind of really irritating that they did that. I mean, it's not, it's fine. I I didn't do a ton on Instagram, but, um, you know, this is really my main place of communication. But it was nice, and I followed a lot of my friends who are only on Instagram on that account, and now I feel like I don't know what's going on in the ostomy world, so I'm just really irritated. But this morning I submitted another appeal review thing on Instagram's website and I got an email almost immediately from a very long email address. It was like a bunch of letters, a bunch of numbers, and then it was at support.facebook.com, which I looked up and that end part of the email is legitimate. And this email was in German, which I was like, I submitted my review in English so I decided to go on Google Translate copied it in and it basically said we need to verify that you are who you say you are and we need a copy of your license or something like that that has a picture of you and I was like what you know that's that is so scammy <laughs> so obviously I didn't send it but I went um, I actually had a link at the bottom of this email that said here is uh, some more information about why Instagram slash Facebook requires this so I clicked on it and it was a legitimate Instagram link and it said that they do require sometimes for people to verify their identity and they may ask you for your license or passport or something that has a photo of you and so I don't know what to think. I don't know if this is a legitimate email. Why the heck would they send it to me in German? Um, and it was just really, it could be real. It could not be real. Uh, it could go either way. So I resubmitted an appeal and said, hey, Instagram, was this a real thing? Like, I, I'll give you my license if that's what you need, but... Um, I need to know from Instagram or Facebook, whoever notifies me, I need to know that that was legitimate because um, parts of it seemed real, like the email address, if you go on Facebook's uh, approved email addresses, they actually have a list on their website that says, hey, if you get an email from you know this ending of an email address, this is from us, this is actually from us, and support.facebook.com was one of them. So like I don't know um, anyway we will see what happens um, I will let you know if I just don't wind up getting my Instagram back and if I don't make one or I do make a new one I just don't ugh, it's, it's so much work and I'm like ugh, all those years of work put in for them just to delete me <laughs> no explanation um, I'm just checking my email. Oh, okay, I thought maybe I got another email from him. I did not. I got an email from Chewy. Anyway, that's the update. Um, I I don't think anybody hacked me on there because I am pretty secure online. So 
I don't know, maybe I did get hacked. If you saw anything weird from me in the last few days, probably wasn't me. But anyways, guys, if you have any idea what I can do with this situation, let me know. It doesn't seem like you can really contact Instagram other than this appeal process. So kind of out of luck there. But I thought I would update you so you were aware of what was going on, why you probably can't find me. No, I didn't block you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gone. I'm just off the website, apparently. Alright, anyways, I hope that you guys are feeling good and having a great end of the week, um, weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.